For as long as humans have roamed the Earth, the advancement of technology has been a major driver of modernization and growth. Here to tell us more about how the history of human development has impacted our planet is Ruth DeFries, Professor of Ecology and Sustainable Development at Columbia University's Earth Institute. So you've got a book called The Big Ratchet. You talk about the ratchet and the hatchet cycles. What is that? When we look at our Earth, we see one thing today, and that is that humans are so abundant. We dominate the Earth. We're everywhere, almost everywhere on the planet for growing food, for cities. So we have ratcheted up our presence on this planet over the last 200,000 years, and particularly over the last 10,000 years, and very much so over the last 50 years. So the story of the big ratchet is how we got to that point how we evolved from being, how we used our innovation and ingenuity to manipulate the bounty of our planet to go from being an ordinary large mammal, like our ape relatives, to uh, an incredible species that has its reach across the world. So what's the key driver of that kind of huge manipulation? I mean, it's not just our opposable thumbs, but is it, is it our ability to think about planting seeds and grow agriculture and food for ourselves? Is it the Industrial Revolution? What, what, what was the biggest ratchet that we've had in the last 50 or a couple hundred years? So the really key driver is this incredible planet that we live on, which has the ability to recycle nutrients and keep climate relatively stable compared to our planetary neighbors and provides this incredible diversity of life. So that's the platform. But then over and above that, we as a species have the ability to manipulate that nature through acquiring knowledge, through passing on knowledge, through, um, through building on what we learn, through spreading ideas that has made it possible for us to manipulate this incredible planet that we have to produce an enormous amount of food to feed our seven plus billion people. So it seems right now the challenge isn't that we don't have enough food, it's that there's not necessarily equal access to that food. Exactly. So in the last 50 years, there has been an, such an abundance, and that's what I term the big ratchet, in the amount of food that we've been able to produce. So the amount of food produced per person, per capita, is higher today on a global scale than it was 50 years ago. And that's even taking account the incredible explosion in population. But that's not to say that everyone has access to the food. And we know that there are some 800 million people who are chronically hungry, which is a very tragic in this world of abundant food. That's not for lack of production. It's for the lack of access and ability to afford the food. And you also talk about the, the hatchet part of the cycle. What does that mean? So the hatchet is, uh, so we have a ratchet. So let's take, for example, the domestication of agriculture 10, 12,000 years ago when people figured out how to um, manipulate genetics and grow the seeds of the grains that had desirable qualities, like having large grains to eat. Uh, so that was an enormous ratchet, probably the biggest ratchet in um, in human history. But every ratchet that we see comes with a problem. So we're manipulating nature, which is inevitably leads to some kind of problem or backlash. So in the case of domestication of uh, crops, that created the ability to support a lot more people, but it also created a lot of problems. Diseases, people were shorter, starchy diets, so less diverse diets. And it also created the problem of, once you have settled agriculture, how do you keep those fields fertile? How do you keep the soil nutrients getting back into the soil to be able to grow the next crop? So that is a problem that civilization has been dealing with ever since. So what part of the story that I tell in the book is all of the ways that uh, people have tried to overcome that problem that we created, that hatchet that we created from the ratchet, and pivot to a new kind of technology, which then inevitably creates another problem, which leads to another solution. So we're in this cycle, this really endless cycle of creating problems and then creating solutions, which then create new problems. So is there a way out of this cycle, or is this just bound to repeat? I think that is just how we live on this planet. We will always be 
experimenting. We will always be creating new solutions that create new problems. So that is the long pattern of our human history. And I think that's our, that's our human condition. All right, Ruth DeFries from Columbia University's Earth Institute. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.